One of the most anticipated events each year at the annual AFBF convention is the Young Farmer and Rancher Discussion Meet Competition. Georgia, of course, was well represented again this year by Cleve Jackson, a first-time AFBF attendee who was excited to compete at the national level. It was my first time attending uh, the convention and uh, we had a really good turnout, a really good show I thought and, and uh, good to get to make connections with people all across the country. I, I've enjoyed uh, competing against folks from across the country but also uh, outside of that just meeting folks with different operations. I think that's one of the most important things for us to do is to learn so it's been really fun doing that. Competing has been an honor. Uh, I really appreciate Georgia Farm Bureau uh, sending me down here and giving me this opportunity. Uh, it's been really fun to compete I, I've had a great time. Of course though it doesn't come without some challenges especially when you're going from competing at the state level to now competing at the national level with winners from across the country. Coming up here to the national competition it is kind of a step up right uh, you have a, a better uh, you know everybody there is a winner and uh, so it's it's a lot harder to, to make your points, get get a chance to get get a word in, um, but it really is a good chance to learn because you know in Georgia we all basically have the same experience and background, but here at the at the national level you have backgrounds from across the, the, the countryside and, and you know you're able to play on those different things in your discussion, which is really important. Despite that though, Jackson held his own and ended up making it past the first two rounds into the Sweet 16 but unfortunately came up short and didn't advance to the Final Four. However, despite that, he's already looking ahead to how he can compete again in the future. What my wife and I have really discussed doing was pursuing the excellence in ag uh, competition. Uh, you know, we're, we're not full-time farmers. Most of our income is from off the farm. And so that, that competition is kind of for our, our group. And I feel like we do a lot of things to promote agriculture in, in our county and in our state. My wife is an ag teacher, and she does a great job of shaping that next generation of farmers and agriculturalists. And so I think that we, we can have a good opportunity to participate in that. Reporting in Atlanta for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.